Hey everyone, what is going on and welcome back to today's video. In today's video, we're diving back into another operator guide because it is another Sunday. So in today's guide, obviously you can tell by our title, we're going to be going over Maverick. I saw the suggestion in the comment section last week and I, I honestly didn't realize I haven't done him yet. He is quite a, um, a often played operator. He's quite a high tier operator. So I thought I'd definitely bring you guys a, ma you guys a Maverick guide. Now again, I'm just going to be picking the operators for the next week's episodes from now on, but do make sure to go to the comment section down below and let me know who you want to see in future videos for the guides, but again, make sure to go check out the operator guide playlist on my channel before you um, suggest operators, because I have done a lot of operators already, and even last week I said the exact same thing I said just then, but people were still suggesting Ash, I think I saw, um, I saw IQ, but I've made an IQ and an Ash guard already, so make sure to go check that operator guards playlist before you leave any suggestions, but do make sure to go down below and let me know something if you don't see them in the playlist. And with that said, I do hope you guys do enjoy this video. Make sure to leave a like if you enjoy it. Make sure to drop a sub if you did enjoy it as well. Make sure to check out my Twitch links in the description, and without further ado, let's dive straight into this video. So starting off, we are going to go over the weapon review, then we're going to move on to the gadget utilization and finish off with the operator strategies as always. So without further ado, let's start off quickly with the weapon review. Now, Maverick has access to quite a strong primary and secondary loadout, in my opinion. It is definitely a solid thing you can bring to the team. His primary and most used weapon is the M4, which comes in at 44 damage on 750 rounds per minute. This overall is a really good weapon and it also has 30 magazine size so it is just an all around great weapon that you can bring to the offensive side. I'm not going to lie, it's recoil is a little bit, um, not, it's not easy to control, it definitely does take a little bit more practice than said other guns such as the R4C etc. I think you guys know what I mean but yeah it does take a little bit of a practice to control but if you can get this gun down pat it is definitely a very damaging gun to bring on offense. I personally like using it a lot especially pairing it up with this gadget which we'll get into soon but in all honesty the M4 is definitely one of the strong weapons you can bring on the attacking side in my opinion obviously there is better I can't deny that but the M4 is definitely a great weapon to bring and I would 100% recommend you bring the M4 as your primary weapon when you're playing Maverick now his other primary weapon he has access to is the AR-15.50 it is a um, marksman rifle which deals 62 damage a shot on a semi-automatic fire rate which means it is just based on a trigger finger fire rate does only have 10 bullets in the magazine and it is a marksman rifle and if you didn't know marksman rifles don't they're not automatic they're semi-automatic if you guys didn't understand what I meant when I said that so you do have to tap it just like you would with a pistol to actually shoot it but if you do have a trigger finger it can be very useful but marksman rifles you have to be quite um, quite significantly good with your aim if you want to be able to use marksman rifles successfully and personally I just feel like they don't do the job as good as a assault rifle would so I 100% recommend you bring the M4 but do not forget about this weapon obviously if you do prefer marksman rifles and you do feel the AR-15 is a solid weapon then I'm not going to stop you guys from using it but my personal preference and recommendation would 100% be the M4. Now diving into a secondary, he does only have access to one secondary pistol, which is the 1911 TAC Ops. I think this is just the Rainbow Six Siege version of the M1911, but I'm not 100% sure. But this is a 45 caliber pistol, which does 55 damage a shot on a trigger finger fire rate with 8 bullets in the mag. So it doesn't have many bullets in the mag, but it does have quite a high damage rate, so this thing does hit pretty hard. You, if you, can just, you can use this to definitely clean up your kills if you are potato a little bit and need to hit one more bullet. This thing can definitely come in handy with that high damage count. And yeah, in all all in all, the, it's a solid pistol. Obviously, there's no alternatives, so you have to bring it. But it is a great pistol, in all honesty. The only thing I can see that might be a problem is this. If you get into a pistol gunfight and you need a little bit of ammo and you run out and you're coming up against someone like Jaeger, etc., who has like 12, 15, I don't know how many exactly, but they have more bullets than that in their mag. Now, Maverick has access to stun grenades and claymores. I feel like personally the way Maverick plays, which is a support frag, a support operator side, I'd say he's in between either of those, but we'll talk about that later. But the way he plays is like you're meant to go for the, you're meant to help out with hard breaching or open a hard breached wall yourself, which means you should be playing to, um, you might be catching yourself outside, etc. So I believe the best thing you can bring as an equipment gadget would be the Claymore because it will help you out watching your back and flanks while you're doing the Maverick job, which can come in handy a lot. Obviously, there's nothing wrong with stun grenades, but everyone knows stun grenades are inconsistent, so most people don't... The only person I can see stun grenades actually being useful for are Ash. But um, otherwise, I'd just suggest the Claymore, but obviously stun grenades are still a solid alternative. But just the way you're meant to play Maverick, I think the Claymore just fits that play style much better. 
Now diving into his gadget utilization, Maverick has access to its its actual name is the Exothermic S Suri Torch. Uh, most people call it the Breaching Torch or just Maverick's Torch. This is a um, it's a it's a torch that you can go up and you can destroy soft or reinforced walls or gadgets or basically anything in the game pretty much with this torch. It has access to five canisters of um, fuel. I'm not sure exactly how long they last. It's just It just depends on how much you use it. And it does two damage if you guys actually give a shit about how much damage it does. But the main thing this is used for is hard breaching. Utilizing a Maverick hard, uh, as a hard breacher can be very handy, especially because you can still utilize him when Bandit is in play, and this is where Maverick shines the best. If there is a Bandit in play and Thatcher is not in play because he either got banned or just no one picked him, etc., Maverick can cover up for that because, one, you can use him to destroy the bottom and destroy a Bandit through the wall, which can be an alternative, and it can also stop a Bandit from tricking, putting that line there because, obviously, you have a line of sight. And it can also be used as a, you can use it as a strategy to open a hard breach wall. If you do one line at the bottom, one line at the top, I'm sure you guys have all seen it somewhere. I don't personally have any gameplay of it, but it's just, if you have a reinforced wall, you do a line at the very bottom of the reinforced wall until you get to the middle and you'll hear, you'll hear like a little unique sound. And then you do it again at the top and you'll hear that unique sound again. And then you just need someone who can destroy a soft wall to come along and you can open that up fair and square. This strategy is 100% the best thing to do to go against a good bandit. Obviously, if they're tricking, it's gonna it's gonna basically give you that wall. If there um if there's nothing to counter, like I said before, it will give you that wall. This is where Maverick shines the best. But obviously, you can still use it as little breach holes. Obviously, but one thing I do want to give you guys is putting one little blow of the Maverick torch in a wall and then peeking that is just uh it's basically just a death sentence. If you guys do swing out that way, it's probably gonna you're probably going to get seen obviously all it exposes is your body or your head so it's giving the defender basically an easy line of sight on you i would 100 percent not recommend not recommend this if you guys are looking to peek through a wall try and open like a solid line and then try and utilize that line by moving around so you're not in one position where they can just easily see your head but yeah, if you utilize this, if you utilize this torch for hard breaching, that is 100% the main reason you should be picking Maverick, in my opinion. This is this is like the best efficiency you can bring. To, obviously, pairing this up with his fragging capability weapon in the M4, it's just a great. He's just he's a great all-around operator, in my opinion. I wouldn't call him a flex though. He's definitely still on the support side of the team. And with that said, I think it's about time we dove into the operator strategies. So obviously, operator strategies is basically what I've already been talking about. I'd say Maverick is kind of in the middle of a frag and a support role you could that's most people is what call that a flex but i feel like maverick's like he's a flex but he's more drifting towards the support side and fragging should be like a last minute option so yeah if you do utilize maverick in a in the attacking side you're going to want to play him as a support side your main reason you want to want to bring him is if you're hard breaching yourself or you're assisting a thermite a sabana hard breach if you're getting hatches yourself basically his role is to hard breach you can use him on soft walls as well but let's be honest most people have an ash a zofia a breaching someone breaching charges on their team you want to you want to focus on hard breaching when you're playing a maverick as i said this focuses on hatches and hard breachable walls the main ones you're going to want to go for is obviously the entry point walls into sight. Prime examples of this would probably be the um, the armory lockers wall on border and the study wall on villa. These are just two examples of things you can come in handy in primary hard breaching. Most objectives do have that one wall, or that one thing that can be hard breached and it will give you a much better chance at winning the round. So if you can just utilize this, obviously he's not the best hard breacher in that sense. Obviously if you just want to open up a wall, thermite or ace are your go-to operators for that. But Maverick does come in clutch in terms of playing against a bandit. This is his main thing that he is useful for. Playing against that bandit is something only he can do. Obviously, Thermite, Ace, Habana all get destroyed by the bandit charge. That's where Maverick is unique in his own sense in playing against that bandit. Bandit is definitely one of a very powerful operators you can bring on defense. He is the complete counter to basically all breaching in th in through reinforced walls. And Maverick is the direct counter to him. So if you are playing a Maverick, the main thing you should be focusing on is going against that. And obviously, if there is no Bandit, I'd just let the hard breaches do their thing. And that's when you can shift to more the fragging side. And maybe if, the, if it's just like a Thermite or an Ace on your team, go and get Hatches instead because you can utilize that torch to get that hatch open instead and leave the thermite or the ace to open more walls with their kind of more important breaching services. 
But otherwise, it's really just up to you what you want to do from there. I'd say, as I said, Maverick can be a great fragger. He has a really good weapon. It does solid damage. It has a solid fire rate. It's a good all-around weapon, and it can definitely kill if you are using it correctly and controlling it right. So you can definitely take advantage of this if you are interested in doing that, but obviously try and focus on support first. I feel like that's the way you should be playing Maverick a majority of the time, and that's basically every hard breacher, really. You should play support first, but every hard breacher has great weapons. Ace has the AK-12, Thermite has the 5.56, Havana has the Type 89, and um, who are we talking about here? Maverick has the M4. So they all have great weapons that they can utilize in terms of assault and attack, but obviously you should always focus on support first. And with that said, I think that's about all I have to say for Maverick. I do hope you guys did enjoy this video and you did find it helpful. Make sure to go down in the comments down below and let me know if you found it helpful. And if you didn't find it helpful, also go down in the comments down below and let me know because I'm trying to improve my videos every day. So it's up to you guys what you want to do, but do make sure to leave me some feedback if you have the time. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to drop a like, I'd really appreciate that, and also drop a sub, we are so close to 10k and I'd really appreciate it if you guys helped me out there, but obviously again, it's all your decision, if you didn't enjoy this video, I definitely don't expect you to sub. But with that said, come check out my Twitch if you did enjoy and want to see some more gameplay from me, I don't, normally the gameplay in the back of my guides is a bit dodgy because it's just quick casual stuff, but... Ah uh, well, if you guys want to see more gameplay, more personality, I don't know. I stream over on Twitch every day except for Saturday from 7.15pm Australian Eastern Standard Time. Love to see you guys there. But I think that's enough talking from me. Good luck playing Maverick. I'll catch you guys later. Peace. Try